See, one of the things that we have problems with is that when we feel that there's a spirit around us inside the building or in the wilderness like this and we have something something hitting the tree or trees bar, uh, falling over uh, making noise we think first of all it's an animal usually when we're trained in our heads by people talking to us it's a bear but when we talk about spirits people ask me is it true on that show that you guys do the other side is there are those true events real events and the way the only way I can answer that is that when you have a child, either it's your child or a grandchild or somebody else's child, if you watch them and the guests come over to play, uh, I mean guests come over to uh, visit, you say, hey, Johnny, go and play over there. Keep it quiet, play over there. So they go play over there, but you notice them, they're playing with somebody. You don't see somebody, but they're playing with somebody. And you wonder, who are they playing with? But they're just by themselves in their own little world. And when your guests leave, sometimes we have the opportunity to ask them, who are you playing with? And they say, well, my friend. And then generally you leave it at that. But in the future, you ask them, what was your friend's name? Then they give you a name. Somebody that could be related to you or your family. Uh, either in your wife or husband's side of the family and then you get curious about it and you say what does uh, your friend uh, so-and-so what does he look like and the kid will look at you and say they'll describe that friend that they have and again it goes back to one of your relatives and that relative is there to visit and look after that grandchild in the spirit form, to play with that grandchild. Like myself in this world, I play with my grandchildren all the time, whatever they want me to do, make a kite today, let's make a sleigh today. So I'll stop what I'm doing and do that for them. And it's just like the spirit coming in and visiting, although they can't make the kite, they just visit and play with the child. You'll notice after the age, of, usually the age of five, that child loses that visiting rights, I guess we could call it, because we talk to them about numbers, we talk to them about letters, we talk to them about colors, we talk to them about uh, sense, what makes sense, uh, time to eat, everything's starting to get scheduled and uh, timed. Then they lose that ability. But after they gained all that ability, usually at the age, I'm going to say 17, 18, they start seeing or feeling spirits because adults are now talking to them, the older adults are talking to them about, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, about things that happened. Why did that happen? Why did the bird run into the house, into the window? Why did we see this thing? And then why did we talk about Uncle Tom and then Uncle Tom shows up within a, day, a day's time? And we wonder about that because we're all connected. We're connected in the spirit world and they're connected with us. As we stand here, there might be spirits around me. There might be spirits along the river, people who have passed on on this river, people who love this river and they want to stay there, they want to be there. A lot of times I think I'm alone, but now I know better that I'm not. There's other spirits that are here visiting this area.